Hey guys, this is Deepo. Do you have too many devices in your house? Are you having a lot of trouble finding the picture taken on your graduation? Your family pictures and videos are scattered on the web. You had to set up a family meeting to find out where you kept the wedding pictures of your sister. Some say it's in my cloud, some say it's in mine. To solve this problem, you can buy a very expensive cloud storage like Google, but it's very costly. Plus, when you access the file stored in the cloud, each session will cost you additional data charges from your cell phone operator. So, how can we solve it? We can set up a home server in which all the family members can store their files and access them anytime simultaneously. I made a home server five years ago using a desktop computer. It is serving me very well till this day. There is much debate whether setting up a home server is worth it for the cost, time and effort it will take to get up and running. But if I tell you you can make a reliable home server with your old phone at the fraction of a cost of buying cloud storage or even making a desktop home server. Difference between phone server and desktop home server. Phone takes a very little space. Desktop takes a lot of space. Additional cooling is needed on desktop. Phone does not need additional cooling. Phone consumes only 5 watt per hour of electricity, costing only $5 a year. Desktop consumes at least 100 watt per hour costing almost $90 per year. Phone is cheap. Desktop is very costly. Phone have battery backup over 10 hours. Desktop with strong UPS last only half an hour. You can use phone home server without a router by using Wi-Fi tethering. You have to buy additional router to connect server to other home devices wirelessly. Phone has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, 4G, NFC, the list goes on. On desktop, you have to buy additional parts to get these features. Phone server can serve you even in the blackout. We are going to use FTP. FTP is a network protocol for transferring files from one location to another on the internet. File transfer using FTP can take place between two computers, one mobile device and a computer, or a cloud account and a computer. Let's start after a few words from our sponsor, Zion Video. Zion Video is a well-known web hosting company based in Bangladesh. They have servers in Bangladesh, USA, and many other countries. If you are looking for a very fast SSD web hosting service, look no more. Zion Video web hosting is very affordable and they come with a lot of features. But if you are looking for a domain suitable for your business, you have come to the right place. They offer hundreds of domain extensions like .com, .net, .tv, .me. No matter what you are looking for, you can find it here. So go and check them out. The link is given in the description below. If you buy something from the link, I'll get a small commission that will help me to bring you more videos like this. Because I have to buy everything to make these videos. Please share the video and subscribe. I promise I'll keep making interesting videos. For this project, we'll need an old Android phone and a memory card if you want additional space. I am using my old LG G6 and a 32GB Sandix memory card. FTP home server phone and other devices should be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. If you don't have a Wi-Fi router, you can create a hotspot from your phone server and then use FTP. Please keep in mind, Wi-Fi connection or the same network doesn't mean that you have to have a working internet connection. They are generally 
used alternatively but they differ from each other. Even if the internet is not working, you are connected to the same Wi-Fi network, you can still use FTP to transfer files. You can use FTP for three things. To access your Android device files on other devices via Wi-Fi. To send and receive files between the phone server and other devices. You can perform actions such as copy, move, delete, rename, etc. on your Android files from other devices. Go to Google Play Store. Install Wi-Fi FTP Server app. Once you have installed FTP Server app on your Android, connect your Android device to your home Wi-Fi network. Open the Wi-Fi FTP Server app on your device and tap the Start button. The app will ask for the permission to access your media files. Grant it. Open the server URL from any of your devices to access the file stored on your phone. You can only download the files by this method, but you can't copy, paste, delete any files from the phone server using the browser. If you want full server access, open the link with File Explorer on PC. FTP application like ES File Explorer on phone. Open Windows Explorer on your PC. Enter the FTP URL in the address bar of Windows Explorer and hit enter. All your Android files will now be shown on your PC. You can now download, upload, move, copy, rename the files from your PC or other devices. How to secure FTP connection? In the Wi-Fi FTP server app that we used before, tap the settings icon in the top bar, then uncheck animus access and enter username and password in the respective boxes. Now your phone server is secured. Anyone without user ID and password cannot access your phone FTP server. That was all for today. Don't forget to like share and subscribe click the bell icon if you are facing any problem doing this project feel free to comment i will help you to solve it see you in the next one